What's going on guys? I'm Ekim Sivids here and today we are back with another video on the Archon. We haven't done an Outlands video in a very long time, but we are back and we're going to be doing a series on Outlands. Uh, I think this is probably my second series I've ever done. We're doing living in the smallest claim on Outlands. It's going to be very difficult because we're not going to have that many chests because we need to defend our base and it's going to be very hard. I don't know how we're going to do it. If a big clan tries to raid us, we're pretty much screwed. We're not going to have that much storage, probably four chests in total, but I'm going to try and get through this and we're going to try and do this series because it was suggested to me and I think it's something that you guys will enjoy. So pretty much what that means is we cannot extend our claim. So we're currently a level one base. Area size 11X by 11X, height size seven, maximum turrets two. We are the lowest level. Now you could go all the way up to level 12, but we're not gonna be able to do that because we are doing living in the smallest claim. And really doing this on my partner account is probably not a good idea. I only am doing it so far because I needed to do all of my kits and stuff to get some starter items. But I might be getting on an alt account because we will definitely be getting targeted uh, if I play on I Make MC Vids. A lot of people on here just like to target the partners because of their kits and just I guess to get in videos and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and open all these crates that I got uh, and then I think I might switch accounts. But also my other account is going to have a rank because if you guys do want a free rank on the server, this is how you can get one. First thing you need to do is go to free rank, add to cart, and then make sure you select Outlands continue and then type in i make mc vids on the enter a youtuber code add coupon check out now and you will get the free rank also if you guys do want to play with me on outlands make sure to join using my ip i make .net. and we didn't get any c4 we only got six explosive out of our explosive crates unfortunately uh, now let's go ahead and open the ore pile crates we're not going to be using these i might be able to sell them honestly that's probably the only use i'll have for them uh, since we are doing the smallest claim thing, it's not like I can just put this inside of my claim. So let's go ahead and put the, we got three two by two ore piles, and then I got a, a three by three whenever I started. And then let's go ahead and open up the rest of these mystery crates. I actually got a Hydra crate out of one of these loot boxes. So if we could get something good here, that would be great. We only got a bike and we got doors. That's, <laughs> that is not good. Hopefully I can get something good out of the recipe crate. Uh, we need explosive, C4, anything like that, but we did not end up getting it. We got an AK-47 recipe, simple stair recipe, which is all right. Now I need to get started on working on the walls of my base. There was honestly a good amount of wood around our base, so I'm getting a good amount of tier two quite quickly. Hopefully I'll be able to finish this base soon. And then, uh, like I said, we'll probably only have four chests. Because unfortunately, with how the base is going to be, we can only have three blocks of protection. So if we upgrade all three of these all the way, that's probably going to be 15 C4. Or, well, actually it's going to be less because homemade. So 12 C4, three homemades. Our base is not going to be protected. We're going to have to, like, try and defend it. Oh, we got some gun crates as well. Wait, there is an event going on where I can go chop wood. And I need wood for my base. Event join? What? What? Apparently this is a no PVP area and it starts in 60 seconds and we can just mine wood. Unfortunately, I only have a, a stone axe. I don't have an iron axe, so I'm not gonna be able to mine it that fast, but this is literally what I needed. I have never seen this before. This must be something new they added. I'm getting so much wood from each log. This is actually ridiculous. I am gonna be able to get so many tier two blocks from this. Wait, can I slash craft in here? Oh, I can't. You have to event leave if you want to uh, slash craft, but I'm assuming you can come back. It said it's going to last for 15 minutes. I wonder if the wood respawns, though. This is actually going to help me build my base so much quicker. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to craft tier two blocks, put it in this chest, and let's do event join again. It works. Okay. I'm going to be able to get so much wood. I got another inventory of logs, so I'm going to do event leave, and let's do slash craft, make some more tier two blocks, and with that... I have enough to finish my base, but I still need to go back for more wood, obviously, for chests and just in general. Pretty much you can use wood for anything on here. So we're going to fix up this entire base, make sure no one can get into it. I also need to make a bed because if I die right now, I cannot respawn back in my base. So we need to get to work on that. But the base is pretty much fully finished. I mean, I can still upgrade the walls and stuff. I just need to get a repair axe. But the outside wall 
is done and we are safe inside here now i went ahead and made an iron axe unfortunately we do not have an efficiency uh one i think the highest you can get is efficiency four still but i'm gonna use this iron axe get some more wood just as much as i can while this event's going on and then we'll work on the base some more and i guess we'll go to some rad towns and try and get some pvp or maybe try and get some more items that we don't have we need to get recipes because we don't have any c4 we don't have homemade we don't have explosive we don't have fuse we have no raiding recipes so we gotta get to work on that so the event ended and we got a bunch of wood and also something i forgot about i have a special supply drop uh, that i get each map and i haven't opened it yet so let me go ahead and place this down and let's see what we can get out of this we should be able to get some very good stuff i think you have a chance of getting c4 explosive pretty much all that stuff uh so if we do get it that would be very very nice just hopefully no one runs over here and takes it. I should still have beginner timer, I believe. I hear people shooting, so that's not good. All right, let's open it, come on. Uh, we got one C4, seven explosive. Let's just take everything. I don't have time to look at it. We literally need to get everything and let's get back inside of our base. Hopefully no one came over here. So, like I said, we got one C4, seven explosive. We got a research table, which is actually good as well. You can use your research points and it will give you recipes that you don't have i got an explosive recipe that's very very good as well so that supply drop helps us out a ton what is going on over here there's a guy in almost full kevlar being chased by a regular guy with a wood axe so with my entire base pretty much finished the thing that i need to work for now uh is the tools the repair axe i need to get a thousand logs 175 stone and 100 iron and i will be able to start upgrading my base so i need to start working on that and honestly that's probably going to take a little bit i actually might have enough i just made it back to the base let me go ahead and do slash craft do i need more iron i'm not sure Cra oh no i had enough for the repair axe so like i said if i just go ahead and click on any tier two block tier three block anything i can upgrade so the upgrade to tier two to tier three is 30 iron ingots uh, so i need to work on getting iron now so what i'm doing right now is just looking around for iron but i thought i might as well go into this rad town i haven't been in one yet this map just look at some of the barrels and stuff see if we can get some loot because right now i'm rocking a stone pickaxe so if we could get an iron one or just really anything that would help we just got an iron axe uh, so that's a little bit of an upgrade. We can have an extra one of those. I just just look around here. They they updated the map this time around, so it's it's a little different. I'm not used to it. Uh, so I don't know where all the rad towns are, where all the stuff is, but should we should be able to find it quite easily. Uh, in this one, we got a chopping axe. Dude, I really need a pickaxe. We're gonna have to get out of here though. I'm gonna die of radiation. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm looking for another rad town to go to right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and make an iron pickaxe. And uh, that will definitely help us get more iron because that stone has been so annoying. It just mines so slow. Well, I'm at a different rad town. I'm gonna be going ahead and trying to loot these barrels, hoping to get something good. Uh, yet again, I'll take the med kit. Nothing really else good there. Maybe I should add my research points to the barrels because I'm literally getting nothing. Let's go and take this motorcycle. It's a little bit faster. At least it used to be. It should still be. Uh, where are all the barrels? There's one right there. Let me get over to that area. Oh, there's a lot. I see a bunch of name tags. Okay, maybe I have to go around the building. So what I've been doing, and I totally forgot that this was like so effective. We've just been running into the rad towns, getting all the blocks. I got tier three, tier four, tier two. Uh, I've got even rare soldier boots, a bunch of ammo. Uh, we got two more iron pickaxes. So, I mean, this is a really great way to get started. In the next barrel that I open, I get a small supply drop. So I'm definitely going to be opening that just in a moment. My beginner timer is going to wear off in about an hour. So I really need to use it to my advantage just going into these rad towns. Because if I didn't have beginner timer right now, I would have been killed multiple times. So I'm just going to run over here and let's try and open this small supply drop. Uh, out of the special one, we got a C4 explosive. We got pretty much everything we needed. So let's see what we can get out of this small one. Uh, I don't think there's anyone around us. Let's go ahead and place that down. And we are getting pretty stacked by just doing uh, the rad towns, just looting the rad towns. And uh, I'm not complaining. Large med kits, armor. We'd have everything we need to, to kill people right now, honestly, if we didn't have the kits. Let's go ahead and open this small supply drop we just got out of a barrel as well. 
and nothing crazy we got a resource buff we got a repair kit and that's pr that's the best stuff we got that was a trash one i'm back in my base now and i totally forgot that i had another recipe crate so i'm trying to get some uh, i already have the explosive recipes so i guess the c4 recipe is what i was looking for and yeah we did not get the c4 recipe we got a bunch of trash honestly so i might as well try and do those well we got a rare recipe that's actually pretty decent and we already have one so we could probably trade that in for something uh ak-47 i do not know how we got that uh, we have a bunch of buffs as well that we can sell but other than that i think that's gonna be it for our first video we got our base set up uh we can't upgrade the base because that's the entire series uh we got um, we got sets we got we don't have the best guns we don't have that much ammo but we can definitely get the materials to make it. I'd say the two main things I need to do for the episodes to come is to upgrade the base and get ammo because all the other stuff is pretty much finished. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one and hopefully we come back and we're not raided.